Welcome back everyone, Triple M here. Today we're taking a look at Ybot's new flagship pool cleaner robot. This is the M1 Ultra. Now this is probably one of the most unique designs that I've seen. Has a solar panel, but there's a lot more to this. So this is gonna give you all around cleaning, triple drive motors, 180 micron basket. And this is a huge basket. In addition, this is gonna have smart, intelligent cleaning. So this is gonna have different cleaning paths, customized cleaning methods, a smart application that we're gonna get into. And so a lot to cover here. So let's quickly get out of the box, get it set up and see what it can do. So big shout out to Wirebot for sponsoring this video. I'll leave a link in the description where you can go ahead and check this product out. Also leave a link to their Facebook group where you can go ahead and find out some more information. So in the package, we're going to have a precaution notes. This is going to basically tell you how to maintain the battery, especially if you got to store it for a long time, how often to charge it, and how to just keep this running in optimal shape. We're also going to have an instructional booklet. This is going to cover everything as far as getting it set up, getting it in the water, getting it out the water. It's also going to go over the application, how to use it, what the features of the apps may be. So definitely take a read if you decide to go with this cleaner. We also have the charger, and I was very happy with this because the charger is pretty long just guesstimating this is probably about a 15 foot charger unravels on both sides and it just makes charging a lot easier now the charging connection is magnetic and the cool thing about it is that it goes on the charging port on the battery one way so if you try to put it on the wrong way the magnetic field is going to reject it so you can only put this on one way and that will prevent any damage to the equipment so the design of this puts the battery on top of the water and this is where the solar panel is as well. So this is a very unique design and it does have a tethering cord that runs from the robot to the actual charger. So the battery capacity is 6400 milliamp per hour. Now with a fully charged battery you can get two to two and a half hours of runtime. And uh, keep in mind that that might fluctuate because if the solar panel is in direct sunlight it does provide some charge and it will extend that runtime. So just talking to the manufacturer they said that with direct sunlight like this can charge in two days just from the solar panel so that's a way to kind of measure it so as far as the cord length you can pop the back off you can unroll the cord and this depends on the depth of your pools so the length of this can go all the way up to four meters or about 13 feet so if you have a pool that's 13 feet or under you should be good to go so as far as the buttons on the panel course you're going to have your charge in port these are going to be fully magnetic next to that we're going to have the status indicator the bluetooth indicator then the wi-fi indicator as well the fourth icon is going to be the multi-function so you can change different modes there and next to that you have the power on and off switch as far as the cleaner itself love the design of this this is going to have a tri-motor system at 100 watts suction power is going to be 15 cubic meters per hour the speed is going to be 36 feet per minute flow rate is 3963 gallons per hour of course the density of the filter is 180 microns and the capacity of the container is 15 liters it does have dual pvc brushes on the front and the rear and this really sets this apart from other cleaners as far as the recommended or ideal pool size about 2100 square feet and the maximum water depth or recommended depth on this is four meters now this cleans whatever surface you want it to clean whether it's the bottom the side the walls the water line this does it all and i'll show you once we get into the demo so to get to the filter basket there's one button on the back you press it pops the top up and you just slide the basket out so you can see the size of the basket there the design there's a rubber flap on top that allows suction but doesn't allow the debris to go back out to the pool so i think that was a, a good design as far as underneath you can see the brushes there it also has a rubber barrier around it just to keep all the debris right where the suction needs it so like i said overall great design i love the dual breast system and i can't wait to see what this can do in the water so after a full charge it was time to get this robot in the water now the first thing i did of course was i just unraveled a charging cable to the battery uh, my pool is seven feet deep so i just did enough to where at the deepest point it will still be afloat so that's just something to keep in mind like i said earlier this goes all the way up to 13 feet or so so once i got it unraveled put the back and back on then i was ready to go i'll go over the app in a little bit but the manual controls all you need to do to get this run is do a long press on the power button 
and then do a short press on the power button. And that puts it to the standard cleaning. Now the standard cleaning, it will clean the walls, it will clean the water line, and it will clean the floor afterwards in that particular order. So very impressed with how this went about doing its business. Uh, very meticulous in where it went and how it did its cleaning. Like I said, it started with the water line, started at one edge of the pool, then it cleaned all the way around. Um, during that process, it did encounter some steps and I think it did a pretty good job on the steps. So I know that cleaners or pool cleaners in general normally have a tough time navigating steps. So overall, it did a good job just getting up and over the steps and getting that area clean. So did the water line it did the wall while it's doing the water lines now again it was very meticulous on how it cleaned the floor it did do different patterns as you can see there not only is it doing a zigzag but it's also doing the back and forth sometimes it backs up sometimes it goes forward and overall it did a good job covering all of the pool as you can see there it did a banged up job just making sure that everything is covered as far as the debris my pool fortunately is screened in so i'm not going to see a lot of those larger uh debris in the pool as far as leaves and so on and so forth but what i find is that i do get a lot of dirt a lot of sand um and just for this video i did bring some rocks and some other debris in just to see how it would do getting those picked up now, as you can see there i have some rocks i have some nails i uh let it do its thing it ran it over and it actually picked up everything that I, I threw at it which i was very impressed with and when it was done i was able to empty the basket and you can see all the stuff that i either put on the floor or was actually in the pool my biggest concerns for this pool is just making sure the walls are scrubbed and also just getting that extra sand off the floor and this was able to accomplish that so once it was done got it out the water pull the basket out and you can just see everything that's in there uh for this there's not a lot as far as the cleaning you pull the basket out you either spray it off with a hose outside or you can um, spray it in your sink whatever your preference is but i was able to get it cleaned up and then this was ready to go again so there's an application that actually goes with this device and this app is currently still in development but i do see a lot of potential for it and i'm very excited when it will be completed so let me just quickly go over it there's a process where you have to sign up so you have to put in the email address create an account but it does have a lot of built-in features so the parent was straightforward you connected via bluetooth then you connected to your wi-fi and then you have access to it whether you're on the network or off the network Within the robot set, as you can see, you can set your Wi-Fi. So it will find whatever Wi-Fi you want it to connect to. You can go to my devices. So for me, I only have one device. But if you have multiple devices, this is where that will show. You have the option to reset sensor and you do have a firmware update option. Over to the main area. So first of all, it's going to show you the forecast. So very detailed. It gives you a four or five day preview. What the temperature is. Uh, what the coverage is. So if you're someone that relies on the solar charging, um, this is going to be really important below it gives you the outside temperature and it gives you the water temperature now the water temperature will come in when the pool cleaner is in operation so currently you can see the outside temperature is 66 and um, if the robot was running it'll give you the current water temperature so next you're going to have your shape this is where you pick the size of your pool so you can see for me i have the rectangular shape selected it kind of gives you the cross path of how um, this will clean so if you have an irregular pool it will clean it um, in kind of like a star pattern and if you have an oval it will clean in um, cross path as well next you have the option to start stop pretty straightforward start to clean and stop the cleaning and below that you have this icon that you slide up and what that does it brings the robot up to the water line that way you can easily pull it out of the water Side to the right, you have your schedule. So this is where you can um, have it on a timer. Uh, you can set what time you want it to start, what time you want it to end, as well as the days that you want this to run. You have your cleaning modes. Again, the default cleaning mode on this is the whole pool, which means it'll do the floor, it'll do the walls, and it will do the water line. But if you only wanted to clean a certain area, uh, you have that option there. You can go wall, you can go water line, or you can go to floor only. And last but not least, you have the manual control, which um, works really well so far. So this is where you can actually use a joystick type control to move the robot around so if you have a particular area that you want to clean you can navigate there yourself and have it clean and you also have an area clean so if you click on the area clean it will clean the area two meters radius from where the cleaner is so kind of like a spot cleaning option like i said the app is still in development some of the features work but they are currently 
doing the testing and just making sure it's good to go. And I'll give you an update once I have more word on when this app is officially completed. Um, next, you just have your bug report, you have feedback, and you have your account information. So overall, I think this is a great cleaner, great runtime. I love the design, love the fact that it does have a solar option. Like I said, the cleaning time is between two and two and a half hours, depending on cloud coverage. And um, just the fact that it's large enough to uh, grab whatever debris, amount of debris you have in your pool. I feel pretty confident in the operation of this robot. For the application, can't wait to see when that's complete. And once it's done, I'll do a complete overview and run through of the app itself. Again, big shout out to Wirebuff for sponsoring this video. I will be leaving links to the cleaner as well as their Facebook page in the description. If you guys have any questions, drop it in the comments. If you're new to the channel, subscribe, smash the notification bell. Thank you for watching and I'll catch you on the next one.